how, how would a Christian pray as opposed to a Muslim? So the way that Christians pray is in the way that Jesus taught, yeah. which is completely different from how Muhammad prayed. Okay. So when Jesus prayed, he looked up to heaven, yeah. whereas Muslims have to look down to the ground. And when Jesus prayed, he prayed, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done yeah, on earth prayer. as it is in heaven. Yeah, yeah. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. That is the, the, the heart of Christian prayer and spirituality. To address God as a father, yeah, yeah. to understand yourself as seeking his kingdom, to depend on him for all of your provision and to serve him in all that you do and that's what christian prayer is i would love to debate you but i'm not i'm more of a pacifist i'm more of a what what's the good of everything as opposed to i'm christian you know i'm right you're muslim you're wrong do you see what i'm getting at but i do love the whole philosophy you're kind of neutral i'm neutral right I'm neither me... christian nor muslim nor jew just believe in god so let me challenge you yeah. let me challenge your well, philosophy your philosophy of neutrality yes right do you believe that we should oppose slavery of course we should. Do you believe that we should oppose child marriage? Oppose it? Yes. Yeah, of course we should. Do we oppose sex with children? Of course we do. Do we oppose persecuting people because of their religion? Yeah, of course we do. Right. If you are, if you are true to these principles, mm -hmm. then you have to get off the fence. And you have to choose a side when it comes to yeah, Islam yeah. and Christianity. Because <laughs> in Islam, your opinion, no, it is a fact. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're, that's, you're, that's subjective, though. Well, isn't all right, it? well, but then, 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 you then, anyway. then you're, then you're going to then you're going <laughs> to suffer from cognitive dissonance because you can't say on one hand that I'm neutral and on the other hand that I'm opposed to child yeah. marriage and slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you are neutral about child marriage and slavery, you're not opposing it. If you are opposing it, you're not neutral. No, but I oppose and, it. Right, but so I don't have to be a certain religion to oppose it. Right, but but if I Islam, could be an atheist but if Islam it. teach, no, 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 hold on one second. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I never said what religion you have to be to oppose it. What I'm saying is that if you oppose it, you have to oppose Islam. Yeah. Because Islam teaches the reintroduction of slavery, the permission of child marriage, and if you don't believe me, go and look at Iraq, the only country in the world that has reduced the age of consent. Oh, right. What's it? Six. Wow. Well, Let's right? move forward. Yeah, we don't yeah. want to be having this no, discussion. No, no, no. No, we no do way. want to be having this discussion mm -hmm. because a lot of people in our country have this attitude that you have, and it's a problematic attitude, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is this idea that we should be neutral. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be neutral. You should oppose evil. Yeah, I see your point. I see your point. You, you should stand yeah, up yeah, yeah. to that which is wrong. Now, whether you stand up to that which is wrong as an atheist yeah. or stand up to that which is wrong as a Christian, mm -hmm. that's a separate conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you should stand up to things that you believe are wrong. Now, if you are like the Muslims and you believe that the abolition of slavery is wrong, then you should oppose the abolition of slavery. And you, you should argue for the reintroduction of slavery as the Dawah do. Yeah, yeah, and have yeah, we yeah. documented You've been doing your research. I, I know research. I've been speaking to Muslims for, for, for 30 odd years. Mm -hmm. I know what they're telling you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know more than all of these liberal do-gooders who take this neutral position. Yeah, yeah, of course. Now, I'm asking you as a man, Whatever your religion is, whatever your belief system is, None. <laughs> should we oppose that which is evil? 100%. Is slavery evil? 100. Then you should stand with Christians in opposing Islam. Because we Christians are going into the Muslim world to set the, Mus the slaves of the Muslim world free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, should you join us. You have to be a Christian to do that. I never yeah. said you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never said you did. But you didn't say you didn't either. No, well, no, because <laughs> I want yeah, to say... Yeah, do you jump into the conversation go on, go on, as well? Go on. I just want to know that if you have a sort of atheist perspective on life, what grounds do you have to know what is right and wrong? Where do you draw your morals from? Right. So, I would say as an uh, atheists can't logically justify their concept of right and wrong. Because atheism works like this. Atheism says there's no metaphysical reality, there's no divine being. And therefore there's no metaphysical reality like truth. And there's no metaphysical val reality like values. These are non-physical, non-material things and therefore they don't exist. The only thing that exists is that which is material and observable. But the material observable universe does not, uh, does not, in that interpretation, give rise to anything non-material. 
And so therefore, uh, there's no justification from an atheist perspective about what's right and wrong. So atheists who have a, a moral compass, I don't know, what, what religion do you have, bro? Or philosophy? No. Nothing, no. Nothing. Atheist or agnostic? No, no, agnostic. Okay, and you? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so atheists, I know you're not, you're yeah, not an atheist. The reason I say there's that many different religions to choose from, how would I choose one particular one? Well, let me finish answering you know, anyway, this question, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I'll answer yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but atheists logically can't sustain their moral principles. And so what they end up doing is what's called cognitive dissonance. They end up holding two contradictory positions together. They assert moral principles, but deny the basis upon which moral principles arise. And they swap, depending on the conversation, their worldview. A bit like this brother nearly did, but seems to have avoided, when he said that I'm neutral, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not against any religion, yeah, yeah. but I am against slavery and child marriage. I'm not judgy. Yeah. That, that's the difference. Well, I'm saying you should judge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, brother, like, let, let, the reason I brought that up is because it's actually these arguments and stuff. I, I left Christianity. I became a agnostic. Okay, okay. Yeah. And it was actually... Big man here starting to make me change my mind. Thanks, yeah, 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 yeah. These exact arguments here, like, where do we as a society say what is correct and what isn't? Because we can all just say, right, let's just be nice to each other. Let's yeah. just be okay. But what's your moral But what happens place? if my man comes along and says, right, now we can marry six year olds? Exactly, and that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah. But, I, but I want to throw a challenge to you because you said we shouldn't judge. Yeah, yeah. Hey, no Christian believes this kind of nonsense. You should judge. Now, do you have a wife? No. You, right, okay, <laughs> but you've got a mother and a father. Yes. Right, if you walked home one day and someone had robbed your mum's house. They'd be in trouble. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But that's a judgment, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so judging evil is not wrong, is it? Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll see your word, So if so, yeah, it's yeah. not sophism, this is logical, A leads to B kind of logic. If you're saying that slavery is wrong, you sh and it is evil, and we both agree it is, then we should judge those who practice slavery, that those that justify slavery, and those that are trying to reintroduce slavery. And we should judge them as servants of evil. Now, the thing is, you've got to be consistent. You can be consistent in one of two ways. You can be consistently neutral, which means that you have no moral fiber, no moral character, no moral virtue, and you're willing to stand by while evil progresses in the world. Or you can be consistent in standing up to what is evil, and therefore you join with others that are standing against what is evil. I see your point, I see your point. So get off the fence. <laughs> I'm so tempted to go further, I'm not going to. I'm, I'm inviting you to. Now. What's your name, bro? Oh, yeah, JP. Oh, man, nah, JP. Nah, 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 nah. Mainly JC, it's like, oh really, taking the big man's name <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Never, never. Sorry, bro, I'm sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. No. So, hey, is this your first time at the corner, JP? No, I've been here loads. Okay, loads. first time I think we've spoke. We've spoken before. I've heckled I'm you loads so of times. I'm so sorry. Surprised you don't recognise me. I'm really so sorry. <laughs> you know, so I good. speak to so many people now. They're all a bit of a blur. Yeah, of course you yeah. do. Of course you do. Have you got a Bible, week, JP? Yeah, I've got a Bible. I've got a Quran. I've got a yeah. Jewish book of the dead. Yeah, I've, I've got, got everything. Are you, are, you, are you reading it? Are you reading I read the them Bible? All. I read them all. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. What, what, what's your impression of the scripture? The Bible. The Bible. It's not, it's not a bad book. It's, it's got goods. It's got bads. You know, yeah. like anything else. The Old right. Testament could be a little bit sticky. Let's, yes. Let, 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 you know, let's get. Like, you could, You know what? I'm going to cut that there. I'm just saying there's things in the New Testament yeah. of Jesus that are vastly different to the Old Testament. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Uh, I, 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 but I would suggest to you the reason why they appear vastly different yeah. is because you haven't yet learned to appreciate what the story of the Old Testament is. Because when you do appreciate what the old story of the Old Testament is, it looks like the New Testament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is that a merciful God embraces a sinful world mm -hmm. and remains faithful to that sinful world and trying to bring them to redemption. Mm -hmm. But in the Old Testament, that entire story is played out with one nation, mm -hmm. Israel. Yeah. So no Israel, yeah, Israel is meant to represent the world. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And so God consistently saving Israel is what God is doing in the New Testament when God seeks to save all of us. Oh, I like it. No, it's good. Yeah. good I'm not going to go any Look, deeper. I want to give you a gift because I can tell you your feet are itching to get gift, away. Yeah. Of course. Or the chocolate bar or something. No, I don't, don't give out chocolate bars. No, but since you've already got a Bible, I won't you give you a Bible. Armed. You come on. Of now, course, I, I always I always give out Bibles, bro. Yeah, yeah. Are you know? here every Sunday? I am indeed, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. Here, here's a, a here's a gift for you. So just a, a, a little gift. I'll take that, I'll take yeah, that. My Thank gift you to you, much. just to show that, you know, right, it's all in good it. spirits. Good God bless you. Yeah. Look after take yourself. Care. And if you want, sorry, if you want to get in touch, 
Here's a card. Yeah, I appreciate that. Get in touch with us, bro. Take it easy, yeah? Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Can I meet the man of the hour? How are we doing? Well, Peace, we're brother. And I, and I want to say for the camera. Can I meet the best man and, and, dressed in Sprinter's corner have today? You, and never have you met a man so handsome than Bob. No. He saw my true. handsomeness in Look the house. Look at this man. Look at this man. Like, he's, he's, he's absolutely God you're looking gorgeous, God mate. God I'm loving God the time. What, what's... Tell... It's El, El Roy. What's your name? Orlando. Orlando. Sorry. I knew it began with an O. Well done for all your work today. God bless you. And, and as you've seen, guys, yeah. as you've seen, guys, yeah, yeah. we got these Islamists intimidated. <laughs> I only, yeah, I only needed to stand next to Mansoor and he wet his pants and wanted to move away, right? And I, yeah, and I just want, I just want to say, guys, that wouldn't have happened if it weren't for Lamin. Yeah. Ah, okay. So guys, if you're upset by my conduct, go speak to Lamin. Because okay. Lamin was the one that started it, and hopefully you'll see that in the sequence of videos. Yeah. yeah. We don't need time for laminated. Laminated, yes. Yeah. Right. Laminated. So, laminated. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, does anyone got a question before I move on to my next topic?